what I think is amazing, just first on a more meta level, yeah. is we're each gifted a unique circumstance that we are born and incarnate into. Yeah. It has a unique set of factors with our parents. You happen to be adopted. Mm -hmm. My dad happened to have died at a young age. Yeah. And it just shapes these amazing inflection points and choices that we can make in life and it gives us gives color to what we ultimately may create. So for me, um, I was always a very active kid growing up. I loved playing sports, loved being in my body, I spent a t most of my childhood outside it seemed like. Um, and at the same time, I was watching my dad totally lose his health. He had cancer and he battled cancer off and on for like 10 years. And so I watched him go through, and it was brain cancer, so I watched him go through multiple brain surgeries, lose control of half of his body, walking with a cane, you know, like just in, in ultimately being so immobile and in hospice. And I think from a young age to see that your parent go through that and also to make that kind of like the, what, what I saw with the intensity of all that shaped my perspectives around my health and strength in, in kind of ignited a desire in me to, to get strong to understand how the body works, how to stay healthy, to step up after my dad died for my mom, my little brother. Um, and what was amazing as a young kid, I started exercising like, I don't know, when I was like 11 years old. Like I got a pair of my dad's weights, started to do exercises, keep the dumbbells under the bed. I would pull, pull them out at night, do some exercises, and I started to get stronger. And when I got stronger as a kid, I ultimately excelled at sports and I gained some confidence. And it ultimately in high school when you're a boy, we went to an all boys Catholic school, there's no girls. So um, for our in our in our instance or in my instance, I should say it was cool to be strong. So I lifted weights. You played sports, you were an amazing golfer, right? Um, but this 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 snowballed into a passion for health and fitness, building myself up for sure, discovering my confidence, understanding about research, domain and ultimately gaining a skill set that through many twists and turns we can continue to talk about in my life, I've been using to help other people foundationally improve their lives through the medium of losing weight and getting healthy with the body. So I think it's, it's amazing. I feel so appreciative of all the experiences that I've been gifted because they've given me the soil to create what I've created. And in many ways, it doesn't seem like it's even my plan. It's just the plan. It's just the flow. And I'm now no longer see myself necessarily as like the causative agent actor that is like orchestrating this thing, but more just like this experience is expressing itself through me. And, and now it's my job to be with it, be it, love it, strengthen it, uh, allow it to express more expansively and, 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 and all that stuff. And this is the spiritual work and the two just are one thing now. Um, so it's been an amazing journey so far. It has seeing you evolve. I mean, from the moment we met, man, you've been, you've taught me so much. I mean, I feel like I've been in the Anthony Balduzzi program for <laughs> uh, self personal growth and, and self improvement since I was 14. Thanks, man. You know, I'm one of the few people that actually gets to say that in my life and just to see how much that's moved in 15 years, like okay. more, gosh, I'm old. <laughs> um, it's like, I mean, you've made such an impact on my life and to see you every single day getting out there and making an impact on so many lives. Uh, most of the time I'm, I'm speechless, man. It's, and you do it with such love and care and connection. And it's not just a transaction, which is such a rarity these days. And, and I honestly feel that that's, that's something that you have that very few very few people get to experience and I can, I see why, I mean, that was one of the main reasons that I was so, so connected to you from the very beginning. I mean, it's, it's hard not to be when you care so deeply. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you sharing that. And I think what you just described feels like my experience now. Mm -hmm. And I will say this to tell the truth of my experience, like it hasn't always been that way. This is what it's, how it's developed into. You know, when I started the Fit Father Project, I started in like my, I started in the, in middle, in medical school. So after I got out, I remember like the first day of medical school orientation was, I don't know, we had to meet at like 8 a.m. or whatnot. I was trying to create a course at the time 
and and I got up at like 5 a.m. to shoot a course in the dark and it was terrible and I never saw the light of day but like I just I share that story because that's how dedicated I legitimately was going to medical school to want to create this thing and for me it was it was really a, a stage in my conscious development of using being very entrapped in the in the in the ego almost like solar plexus energy of 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 uh accomplishment of of proving to myself that i could do something of very like uh, like angsty desirous energy for yeah. this creation and success because i and i think that the, the seed of that though was this deep inner knowing that this was possible for me and this was like the path to do but at first when i started the fit father project yeah i did not anticipate that this would be affecting hundreds of millions of people through all the content i was literally trying to sell a 10 dollar ebook like i was trying to figure out how do i create get something that i think is good that i feel you know even just your own relationship to the stuff you're creating like is this good you guys have written books i know you know with the creative process and then learning how to package that and get that out to people and then learn how to communicate in an online space that can get people to stop in their experience and be like wow this is looks amazing i think this can enhance my life and i'd like to try it out like that whole process coincided with this massive spiritual awakening that i went through and what's funny is you said that you learned so much from me and it sounds like that's true and i'm thank i'm thankful for that but i didn't know it when we were living together in our early 20s but like i was yet to learn so much from you i think it it was it was fun for me now that i look back because you had what i would call your initial spiritual awakening when i don't know you were in your maybe whatever we were in our early, early mid 20s but you had it many several years before i did i was certainly on a path but you had a very explosive and radical shift in your consciousness and awareness that seeded into intense practice over a number of years and i was living with you during it and i and i hadn't experienced those types of things shifts in awareness as yet in my life I I was watching you become a massively loving person moving out of like your egoic ties as a young stud businessman you know traveling whatever whatever that was for you that you were creating you were making these shifts and I was driven by this this angsty but good energy to to create and actualize what what I thought my ego wanted and I was strengthening this and little did I know many years later that I would then come to follow your path that at the time I didn't I I I loved you for it because this was your experience but I didn't fully understand but now I understand like through my direct experience and truth and like that's been really cool like it's been a it's been a very humbling thing for me too to like be with you through that and I think it's a privilege to have a friendship that we have where we've been friends for so long cuz length of experience is like there's something to that cuz you almost feel like someone's known what your expression or your essence is at many different like snapshots of, of progression and then on top of that to have someone who understands what i call these deep truths about our our, our reality um and to be able to share that with you on a deep level now is like such a privilege because you don't get many opportunities like that at least as people say that my life feels abundantly filled with those but i know what we have is special i guess that's what i'm trying to say